Hello. It's very Hello. nice to meet you. Very nice to meet you. What's your name? My name is Anna. And I was just saying something. I'm sorry. That's all right. Anna, where are you from? I'm from India, but I live in Delhi. Okay, you sound very British, Anna. Because I have learned two accents. I've learned American accent and British accent, that's why. Ah, okay. And how old are you, Anna? I'm 10 years old. Okay, and why are you studying English? I study English because I think English is a global language and we need English mostly everywhere, whatever we do. And even though English is very essential, if, if we want to do something in future or still, there's a demand of English. So that's why I think it's important to learn English and I have mostly learned, but I'm still improving myself. That was a very adult answer. Wow. <laughs> That was a very grown-up answer. Um, how long have you studied English for? Well, it's been two and a half years. So I've been studying English for two years and a half because I started learning English when it was the COVID-19. And before COVID-19, I couldn't even speak one word of English. So now I'm better that I can do these things. I can speak and I can switch into accents. You've only been learning for two and a half years. Yeah, that's right. Your English is so good. Wow. <laughs> um, does anyone else in your family speak English? Yeah, in my family, my parents speak English and I do have one sibling, one sister, and she also speaks English with me. So we all speak English together, but not all the time because we cannot speak English all the time. We just utilize our mother tongue, which is Hindi. So mm -hmm. we talk in Hindi mostly, We're not all the time English, but yeah, I would say it's 50-50. Sometimes our mother tongue and sometimes Hindi. I am so shocked by how good your English is. You are so well-spoken for a 10-year-old. <laughs> um, Thank you. Um, what do you do for fun? <laughs> for fun, I sometimes play. That's what I do. So I have some video games in my phone and I play with my sibling. That's what I do. Okay, and what video games do you play? Um... So I just keep downloading a bit of new games that I cannot just say right now. Mm -hmm. Okay. And mostly, I, so after playing for a while, I delete them. And what do what does your sister do for fun? For fun, she does the same thing because we both do the same thing. Okay. And what do mom and dad do for work? What are their jobs? Well, my mother is a housewife and my dad is a businessman. Cool, very cool. And when you grow up, what do you want to do? I'm not pretty sure what will I do in the future. And even though I have plenty of time to think what I'm going to do in the future, if I say I'm going to do like this in the future, but I'm not. So that's why I cannot really say I'm going to do this in the future. So the time will tell what is going to happen. What do you like at the moment? Like at school, what do you like? So wait, could you repeat? I couldn't catch that. What do you like at the moment? Like at school, what do you like? At school, I mostly like everything because they just teach us new, so new kind of, you know, chapters. And that's what I need to memorize because my exams will be just right around the corner and I gotta study and even though I play at my school that I sport that's what I do at my school. Are you nervous about your exams? No I'm pretty thrilled that my exams are just around the corner I'm going to pass so I really don't have any problems giving them. You're I so really confident. <laughs> it's amazing wow <laughs> oh my goodness so how long have you used Cambly for well it's been a bit more time I'm not going to say a very long time but yeah it's been time being on Cambly and when you use Cambly do you always meet with different people from around the world yeah mostly I would say 
because I take classes with them once again, even with the same tutor. So mm -hmm. that's not a bit really issue having class with the same tutor. And even though I've learned nothing from Cambly, I just used Cambly to improve my speaking skills and I just chose Cambly to do this. And I whatever I did, whatever I did, I did at my home. So that's why I needed to mention. Okay. Okay. And when you have like lessons with different tutors, what do you talk about? I just prepare a topic, having a plot having a class like that. I'm going to talk about this. Today's class, that's what I do. So I pick different kind of topics. So what topic do you want today? We can talk about success and failure if you're okay with it. Yeah, of course. Yeah. I have prepared for this. Okay, so you lead the conversation. Talk to me about success and failure. What should I tell you? You can ask me questions and I can reply back to your question. Okay, tell me about a time when you were successful with something. With some? <laughs> oh, I am pretty successful with my English. That's what I would say because this is one of the goals in my life that I have achieved right now and I've been really, I have succeeded in it. Okay, and then tell me what a time where you failed at something. Failed? Yeah. So, I'm not pretty say, I'm not pretty sure because sometimes I do something new and I definitely fail because I really don't have that kind of knowledge about the topic. So I can never say if I'm going to succeed or if I'm going to fail. Um, in a time like where you have failed at something, like maybe you tried something for the first time, how did you feel? Hmm. Well, I really didn't have that much knowledge about it, so I could definitely feel and I'm not prepared for something. How how do you think you would feel if you failed at something? Like if you failed an exam, how would you feel? Uh I've never failed in an exam. So I cannot say, definitely. Yeah, uh, if I would have to answer the question, like think about if if you ever failed an exam, how would that make you feel? That would make me a bit disappointed, but I would not lose hope because I still have more time to go and I can still prepare for when I fail, I can just do it again. And then I have that thing because as you know, if you fail 99 at a hundred times you succeed and that is, 100% true if you keep practicing keep trying again and again and at the moment you're going to get it you're going to succeed you are so grown up for a 10 year old wow <laughs> tell me about a time when um like maybe mom or dad or your sister like failed at something tell me how you think that they dealt with it oh they must have suffered and you know, it must be a very bad time when they have failed and really pointed and we get this thought like, what are we going to do the next time? But we keep preparing, we keep trying and we don't lose hope. So that is the best thing we do. Do you think that failure is inevitable? Uh, do you know sorry, what inevitable I is? I'm sorry. Do you know what inevitable means? Nope. So inevitable means that like it could always happen. So yeah, happenable Do means... Do you think that failure is inevitable? Yes, definitely it's inevitable and I think it depends on us because whatever we do, you know, if we are doing something good, we are doing something bad, if we're not doing it properly, we will definitely fail 100%. But if we're just doing it definitely correctly right, then we will not fail. We will succeed. Okay. And do you think that um, failure is a mindset? And do you think that <laughs> success is a mindset? Yeah, both things are mindset. So do you have a successful mindset or do you have a failure mindset? Um, I have success mindset. 
Yeah. And do you think that failure helps towards success? Yeah, failure really helps us a lot because, you know, as we fail and we succeed then, failure teaches us how to deal with success. Ah, okay, that's a good answer. We have a saying here, it's like, if at first you don't succeed. Yeah. At first you don't succeed, then try, try again. Yeah, keep trying. You're going to just succeed. That's why. Yeah, okay. That's cool. So do you think that, like, the same thing can be said about school? Like, when you go to school, do you go there with a success mindset or do you go there with a failure mindset? I go in a success mindset because I think I can definitely pass my exams or there are something else in school that I can definitely deal with it. I will go through it. But what do you think about people in your class? Like, do you think people at school, like in your class, go in with a success mindset or a failure mindset? They're pretty nervous. So I can say about them. And yeah, they are pretty nervous about the exams. How do you think people would be if they never failed? Sorry? If, what, if how people would... never failed, yeah. Yeah, what do you think they would be like? <laughs> they would be pretty much like, oh, we can do everything and they might they would be have much confidence in them. Like we can definitely do it. Okay, cool. You're very, very clever. Thank you. Like, well done. Like, and congratulations for learning English in two and a half years. Wow. Yeah, thank you. How did you teach yourself English? I just do practicing in my home because I phone and I watch movies, speeches and series. I used first in the beginning, I used to just do practicing of English sentences because I didn't even know word word of, uh, you know, English, as I already mentioned earlier in the class. And now I can speak English and I'm pretty much good enough. Do you like, do you read books in English as well? Yeah, I only read books in English and I love to read books. This is one of my favorite things to do in my free time and I always read it. And so what book have you read recently in English? In English, I have completed the ones I've completed. Yeah, like recently, what did you read? I read The Three Mistakes of My Life. This one is a bit easier. And um, let me get more into detail. And um, this book is about uh, three friends who live in Ahmedabad here. Uh, Ahmedabad is a place in India, I would definitely say. And this is a book about three friends. So this is a really true based story. Okay. So I've just completed it recently. Oh, that's very cool. Very cool. How many books do you read in one month? One month, I keep reading the same books because whenever I complete one book, I revise those books once again and I keep revising because I get new vocabularies from the books and, you know, I don't want to lose this skill and I don't want to forget those words. That's why I keep revising again and again. So I won't say that I completed these, these just uh, two books or three books in a month. Oh, okay. That's and I want to stop. That's very, very clever. And um, we only have like 20 seconds left. Um, yes, that's right. It was very nice to meet you today, Anam. Your English is amazing. Well done. Yeah, right. it's very nice to meet you too. It was very nice to meet you. My one piece of advice would be read new books, okay? <laughs> okay, I keep reading. Thank you for your advice. Have a nice day. You too. I wish you the same. Have a rest of the day. Have a great day. Bye. Bye.